Although I love the vibrancy and edge that a city provides, it can wear you down. I'm going to share four benefits of slow living with your family that I've found. For me, slow living is taking a slower approach to everyday life and appreciating the moment in order to have those optimal experiences or flow. I'm Dr. Joshua Minier and welcome to Shizen Style. I grew up in the city and always loved the edge and vibrancy that it has to offer. For years, my wife Satomi and I lived in Osaka, Japan, which is fast paced, cosmopolitan and trendy. Eventually though, it sort of wore us down and we wanted a slow life where we could raise our daughter. That's when we made the move to nearby Nara and embraced their slow living lifestyle. Although we eventually returned to the Buffalo area, we carried with us the Nara slow living mentality. The first benefit of slowing down is allowing yourself to move at your own pace. Slow living doesn't necessarily mean moving slowly. It has more to do with taking the time to discover the different activities in life that you're drawn to and then exploring them at the right pace for you. Giving yourself the time to take a break and breathe and decide for yourself which activities require you to adjust your pace. We are restaurateurs and understand the energy level and quick thinking that's necessary to get the job done. But by embracing slow living and taking the time to breathe, we can still stay present in the moment, even when things may seem a little chaotic. By not getting caught up in the lifestyle, we're able to prepare for the unpredictable moments, enjoy simple moments with the kids, and give ourselves time to reset and refresh for a more balanced life. Slow living isn't about escaping, it's about balancing. Even though it's my fault. The second benefit of slow living that I've found is patience. In Nada, the mud walls that lined the old narrow streets, the beautiful architecture, the rich cultural history has developed over thousands of years. When you're walking through Todaiji Temple, a world heritage site that was built in the mid 700s, you begin to understand that some things take time to develop. Patience always reminds me that relationships can't be rushed. They need to unfold slowly. With time, family traditions, habits, and lifestyles can develop and it's up to us to curate the best experiences for us and others around us. Another benefit to slow living is that the guilt of unproductive time disappears. I used to buy into the idea of all of these productivity hacks before we slowed down. But another way to look at it is that our creativity needs that unproductive time to process connect seemingly unrelated info and filter out the unnecessary. Our subconscious is actually doing important work when we're sleeping and giving ourselves the time to happily be unproductive. When we slowed down, the guilt we once had of always needing to be productive and always needing to hustle disappeared. We could now just enjoy these unproductive moments. I think we also started to take the pressure off of the kids to always be productive. When we started homeschooling, I had this fear that they would get so far behind the other kids if they weren't working on their online program all the time. But eventually with taking a more slow living approach, I came to realize that a combination of focus study experiences and adventures we have together regularly and pure unproductive time is the right balance for a healthy family. The fourth benefit of slow living is that it positively affects your money priorities. Slowing down changes your relationship with money. 
Yes, you may become more resourceful and start engaging in more DIY projects or gardening and growing some of your own food. But I'm thinking more in terms of doing things with your family and the people around you instead of only splurging on yourself. You learn that although you do need to stay connected to society, you don't always need the latest and greatest tech tool that seems to come out every single month. Spending money on things that will actively build memories and experiences with my wife and kids has become a priority with the extra money that we have. These are just four benefits of slow living with your family that we've experienced. In reality, there's numerous benefits for you, but if you start by appreciating the little moments, you open yourself up to optimal experience.